Hey, it's Zana. Welcome back to Mirror Mirror. And if you're new here, hi. I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also film four videos a week here on my YouTube. And this series is all about relationships because they are the key to life. So for this video, we are going to talk about getting people to change and how you will know if they are going to change because so many of us want people to change certain things about themselves and even want ourselves to change certain things about ourselves but not everyone's going to so i think a key sign something that i've realized for myself is that if they were going to change you wouldn't need to do anything to get that to happen like just by you being yourself would be the spark enough for them to change that thing already if they were going to, if that makes sense. So say you're a very disciplined person and you're very dedicated to whatever it is that you're doing and you really want them to be more disciplined because maybe they're quite lazy and they don't do anything. So if they were going to become disciplined, by them witnessing you be that, that would be spark enough for them to start to do it. And obviously no um, change or habit change or thought pattern change happens overnight, like it's a gradual thing. But by them being in your presence, that would inspire them enough to start to make those changes. Even if it's slow and small changes, they like you would see it in them, you would see them starting to do certain things to transform their discipline level you know if that makes any sense so it's not something that you would need to do you don't need to nag you don't need to ask or tell them to change the way that they are because if it was in them if it was something that they wanted they would do it in themselves anyway so you don't need to tell them because maybe you're just telling the wrong person maybe they're just not that maybe they never will be maybe it's not in them because they don't want it and it doesn't excite them it doesn't inspire them you know like everyone gets inspired by different things and everyone is different and wants different things and values different things so maybe to them in their mind they don't perceive it as being lazy maybe they perceive it as they go with the flow and they're quite carefree and they'll do things when they feel ready and maybe you like more structure or something like that you know so I just feel like it's about compatibility and we can't force people to change and especially by nagging and yelling and wishing and begging it's not going to work you have to stay firmly in who you are and what you want and what you need and only only choose people especially on a romantic level because of the energy exchange level that that involves so especially when it's romantic you have to be more picky about who you allow into your space and into your energy field you know so if you want someone to change and you're looking for ways to tell whether they're going to i think it's a case of looking at their behavior looking at their thought patterns and looking at the things that they say and stuff and seeing whether that spark is there, whether they seem inspired enough to do it, whether it's a part of who they are to want to, you know, because you just being yourself and just being who you are, if those things were supposed to trigger that change, it would happen without you saying a word, without you doing anything, it would happen by you just being yourself and talking about what you love and who you are and the things that you enjoy, that would spark it in them if it was supposed to happen. So we cannot control other people and we cannot force them to make any kind of changes that they don't want to make. So you really need to just embrace and connect with people that are already in alignment and maybe that spark will appear and they will start to make those changes but you have to be able to discern that and see whether they're actually wanting those changes and not just making them because you've demanded it but because they actually want that thing like whatever it is that thing has to be something that inspires them and excites them because if you think about it for yourself would you want to make a change because somebody else demands it of you 
you know like it's a bit like when you're a child and you have to do chores you don't really want to do it because it's demanded of you but if you enjoyed having a clean space you would do it anyway you would feel inspired to do it so your parent wouldn't need to demand it because you would want to do it because you like having that clean space so it's kind of the same thing although obviously as children we're not really very self-aware but when you're older and you're grown you know the certain things that you enjoy and the things that you want and we tend to do those things so anything that the person is not doing is because it's a choice and it's because they're choosing not to do it maybe they don't want to do it maybe it's not a part of them maybe they don't care to do it so it's a case of discerning whether that's something you're willing to tolerate whether that's something that you're willing to live with for the rest of your life or for however long you are in a relationship with them for so i hope this video was helpful thank you so much for watching i really appreciate you don't forget to check out the description box below for all links to my jewelry brand this is elemental mirror i'm wearing my necklace right now and my phone number my social media my music Everything else about me is in the description box below and also don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already because I do upload four times a week and hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload and I will see you in the next video. Bye. You could say